Hey everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday everyone. We have a really exciting video for you. We're starting the tanks on the background of our YouTube live stream studio. This is tank number one. We have a few more to do and you've got a lot of cool things that you did. So we say we get to it. Yeah. All right, so this is the 8.3 Lifeguard Aquatics tank. Big thank you to Lifeguard Aquatics. They supplied us with these tanks to help make the YouTube live stream studio look awesome. This is the first of four of these tanks that we're gonna be building out. It's a really great tank. What did you do with the Aquascape? Well, I started with my favorite substrate of all time, which is Top Fin Black Sand. It makes a really great base to pretty much any scape that you wanna do. That's where I started and then the wood is Malaysian driftwood, and I also added a few little pieces of spider wood, very thin pieces, which I think adds just a whole lot of, like another dimension to escape. Now for the plants, I used along the back, I used Valisneria, which I, I'm really quite addicted to lately. It gives a lot of height and a, a little bit of just kind of just kind of a cool natural look in the back of a tank. And then also a couple of very nicely sized Anubias Nana, in the front, some S repens. Uh, that should grow in and I can of course trim it or move it in the back because that will get uh, taller, but I do like to have it in the front of escape um, in, the, in the start. And then I did use a little bit of some Wasser tank, just kind of wedged underneath a little piece of wood there. I'm curious to see how that does. And then uh, some, some floaters, just a couple of little bits of frog bit and some water lettuce.
And then I also added just a few rocks. It was kind of mostly about the, the driftwood in this cape, but I did add just uh, two or three pieces of petrified wood, which is a very cool rock if you've never used it. I highly recommend it. It, it adds a lot of different uh, kind of texture and colors. All right, let's talk about the fish. The fish are really cool. I think they stand out fantastically with this dark background and the dark sand. We've got some rice fish. Now I've done a species profile on Java rice fish, which I will link in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. These rice fish are a little bit different. What type are they? These are the Madaka. And we got four of them. We picked these up at the last green water swap. We're really excited, I'm really excited to have them in this particular tank. We also have a couple mirror rasboras that came from Flip Aquatics. Flip Aquatics is a channel sponsor. Check them out. I'll have their website down in the description below. And we also have a couple of magenta mystery snails that are very, very young. They're not showing full color yet because they're so small, but they're going to serve as pretty much the cleanup crew. Now, what's cool about this particular tank is it is a built in filter and there is a lot of space for filter media behind that little wall. Right now, what we're running is there was a sponge that came with it. We do have some cycled filter media in the back of the tank, as well as some filter floss. We also, you'll notice that we put a sponge on the return. Like so many of the, the, the tanks that are built all in ones, the pump is a little bit strong and they were the pump was blowing the fish around a little bit. So to solve that problem, it's a very easy fix. We cut out some sponge from a sponge filter and just cut a little hole in one side and place that right over the return. Problem solved there. We also added Fritzheim 7. That has live beneficial bacteria that are gonna ensure that we have even more bacteria in the tank that can accomplish the nitrification process, making sure that we have no ammonia or no nitrite. We've used it a lot and it has never failed us. And as a fun fact, I did supply these mystery snails to my own tank. Yes, I bred these mystery snails, very exciting. They came from my farm tank, which is otherwise known as Green Acres, and they are populating the tank very well, so I was able to get my own mystery snails. Now, in regard to the plants, what's gonna hopefully keep them healthy is root tabs and the substrate for the jungle veil, and then a little bit of liquid fertilizer for the Anubias. We start out really, really light with the fertilizers because Anubias is fairly slow growing. We don't have a heavily planted tank here. And the last thing we want to do is put too much liquid fertilizers in here. So maybe about 25% of the usual recommended dose is what would go in here. All right, so the light on this tank is a Lifeguard fresh water planted tank light. It's gonna do great for these plants that we have in here. It's appropriately sized, giving off plenty of light, but not too much where we would expect a lot of algae issues. And it'll be great for a tank this size, which is roughly about 12 by 12 by about 13 inches tall. So this is a nice tank. Again, it is an 8.3 gallon. Looking forward to seeing how all the plants grow out. All right, everyone, so that is the first of uh, four bills, like I said, so you're gonna be seeing some more aquascapes, some more of your creations. <laughs> yeah. And we are getting close to having the studio done, so hopefully we'll have that done in the next week or so. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.